Hey folks, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live, happy Halloween! The FAA is gonna allow our devices on the plane! A robot that'll make you the perfect drink. Tweet the gift of Starbucks. And Scott Jordan from Scotty Vest is here. It all starts now. Gosh, what are you eating? Mmm, gummy brains. Brains. Paul sent them to us a while back. Yeah, you guys remember when he did that? A whole Still box full of Nuts.com product. Gummy bears, gummy cats, gummy... It really looks meow. like a brain. I don't know. It does look like a brain. That's kind of gross. Tastes like a brain, brains. too. Well, that's appropriate for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Did, uh, did you do anything for Halloween? Um, we stayed at at home and trapped small children in the basement. Nice. We've got a whole stockpile of children now. How I'm many? Gonna, oh, I don't know. Dozens. What are you going to do with them? Dozens. First, we'll use them for labor, and then we'll sell them to third world nations, I guess. Bad, John. I don't know. No. We <laughs> handed out candy. That is not true. We yeah. handed out candy. Did you? I carved our giant pumpkin. I saw. Did you I see? I can't believe you did that without me. We were supposed to do it together. There it is. It's well, cute. How did he do that? <laughs> Yeah, that's the pumpkin uh, that we bought. It's ginormous. You can't tell from the picture how no, big it is, can it's, you? It's huge. It came from Sam's, and they have humongous pumpkins. But did you save the pumpkin sitting seeds in, so that I can make roasted pumpkins? If it was sitting on the table in front of me, you wouldn't be able to see me. It's that big. Yeah. It's literally this big, but no, I didn't save them. Oh, my God. That's the whole reason we got the pumpkin in the first it place. It is. It is, but I have a, I have a... I have uh, an excuse. Uh huh. When we hollowed that thing out, there was like nothing in it. What? There was like, it was just a giant hollow gourd. I mean, there were no. a few seeds, but there was only enough for like, a, there were not many. Wow. Yeah, and I was like, what the heck? And then somebody told me, oh yeah, this isn't the kind of pumpkin that you make like pumpkin pies out of and stuff. Huh. You gotta get one of the small, meaty ones. Oh. The big ones are just for show. Oh. I didn't know that. I guess I'll be buying a different pumpkin then. Yeah, they didn't well, have any pumpkins in London. Well, before we do that, I mean, you just missed out on my opportunity to show off my nephew. Oh, and oh, his oh, little outfit. oh, yeah, sorry. So I didn't dress up. This is my nephew, Foster. He, uh, I sent him a uh, Halloween costume. Batman! I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Can't you, just look at that picture. <laughs> Can't you just hear him going, He's, I'm he's Batman. got his, his hand propped up. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm Batman. Anyway, so what did you guys... Uh, what did you guys dress up as? That is going to yeah. be today's fame spot question. Is it of the really? Day. So Why you can be not? thinking about it. You can so be thinking. Show us a picture. If you didn't dress up, be thinking about your fantastic lie that you're going right. to tell us of how awesome you did dress up. <laughs> but, but not uh, yet. Not yet. They so. don't dress up in London at all. No. Nobody over in the UK celebrates Halloween. They think we're all a bunch of godless <laughs> heathens in America, <laughs> and they're glad, frankly, that they kicked us out of the UK. I'm sure they are. That's basically. So, the gist as you of see, it. I'm. We're both wearing London garb. We are indeed. Um, at Douglas Benford from our meetup gave me this. He gave us a couple of shirts. He gave me a shirt, but I'm not wearing it yet. Not I'm yet. I'm going to wear it on a weekly show. So I had to wear mine today because it's green, and normally we shoot it with a green screen for the daily show. So yep. I had to fit it in today. <laughs> it would have been better if you'd have worn it and used the green screen, That's and your true. whole body would disappear. Right. It would and, be fun. And you're wearing one from our friend Steve the, Thompson. The Hackney Colliery Band. HackneyColliery.co.uk. They... Do music. Two favorite things. Can you believe it? It's a band. What? And they do music. Who have beer? And they have their own beer. The two, Hackney Colliery beer. Two favorite things from London. Me, hanging out with Steve and seeing his laser harp. So go check that out at geeky.tv. That's true. And then also seeing Brick Lane. I actually really enjoyed Brick Lane. Which is oh, kind yeah, of that was a, where the, all the Indian food yeah, was. Yeah, it's kind of a local spot. So what happens is there's this whole street full of Indian food. Mm. And basically you go, oh, there's our meetup. That's the meetup. That was Everyone. actually, that's not everybody. That's just the people who were there real early when we snapped the picture. Exactly. After that, even more, more people, people kept coming. We packed the house. It was mm. amazing. Thank you, you guys, guys for joining us. You guys were awesome. Some you, of the, you are fantastic. Some people traveled for three to five hours to come visit. Haley, specifically. I mean, Amazing. Geez. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank we we so had much. so much fun with you guys. We're going to be in Boston. Wait. In... 
I gotta show the food. Show, the oh, Indian sorry. food. Back to Brick Lane. Back to Brick Lane. These this is like so the whole street is like full that. packed of this. Covered with that. And amazing food. It, the you smells, can basically um you the can colors. like they're all trying to get you to come into their restaurant and so they you can haggle with them. It's pretty cool. I like that. I have a go. whole bunch of pictures from there. I don't know where all those pictures came from. I guess those are the ones you took. Oh, best apple cider ever. Oh, that was good stuff. Man. Okay, we're going to be in Boston in three oh. weeks? Yes, three, three weeks. Oh, oh there Tower we are. Bridge. Standing on Tower <laughs> Bridge. That's us. Yeah, looking cute. She was, at least. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be in Boston in three weeks. Doing the uh, Ultimate Developers event. Udi. Uh, <laughs> Udi. Uh, so we will be uh, speaking there on we November have a coupon. 21st. We do. If you're a developer and you want to attend the Ultimate Developer event, you can use coupon code UDE ME. You get 10% off. That's right. That's so our coupon code. So come join us at the event. You're going to learn a lot. And uh, we'll have a meetup in Boston as well. Um, so if you. Uh, we'll, we'll publish that as soon as I know anything. Yeah, we'll plan it pretty soon. Yeah. So, uh, Bovage wants me to do my Boston accent. Oh, God. I no. guess when we get there, we're going to rent a car. Okay. And then we'll have to park the car. Anyway. Well, we are going to head off to commercial break. Wait, we before have a special we go. Video to take us out, though. Before we go, yes. So, I, I think, uh, Dave. Well, first of all, you guys head on over to geekbeat.tv slash famespot. Leave us uh, your Halloween costume of choice. And Dave, take us out with the... This, is, this wow, video... I don't know what to say This, about video, this video was produced by Dave in and the 90s. Starred. Dave Miggity Miggity Mac in the 90s. He is the one with the backwards pants. Oh, you'll know it. Out. You'll know who Dave is. Let's see it. Oh. My. God. What were you thinking? Hey, I was, I was good looking then. Oh. My. God. God. <laughs> They're that, calling the banana. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that You must have had that on VHS. Oh, yeah. 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 That was, that was over. Let me, hang on, let me get the mic. Yeah, so we yeah we just uh, we turned on the camera. Brady's parents were at a Christmas party. We had nothing to do, and so we turned on the camera and set it on the serving bar and turned the music on. Nice. There's, a, there's another one coming next week. Oh God. Yeah. Oh no. Here we go. I don't know if I can handle that. I will be unfollowing you for the next couple weeks, Dave. Nice. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I'm Callie. I'm John. Are you scared of the camera or something all of a sudden? I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for you to reintroduce us. Why not? We do it every time. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm prepared. I'm never prepared. What's different than usual? Nothing. Hey, what do you guys think of our, uh, our interesting little screensaver Dexter thing oh, going on in the background? Wow, has he been Dave smoking? Dave has been going crazy. <laughs> I think Dexter's been smoking something like psychedelic. <laughs> right. I think you might have. Speaking of things, I was, I was really bored when you were gone. Oh, I'll say. I should have left more stuff for you. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of the UK and psychedelic, didn't you get something for uh, Creepy Kitty? Yes, as you know, at the Creepy Kitty has been wearing this bandana for forever. So I came back with. He a, asked for a new. A he London asked for bandana. one, didn't he? Didn't so, he say he wanted we'll, a British uh, bandana? We'll re-outfit him. Okay. Yeah, uh, no, he wanted something better than a uh, bandana. He was complaining, actually, but you're going to be stuck with it. Sorry. I thought he asked for a bandana. I don't well, know. that's what he you asked, get. He asked for some awesome gifts. He, oh, well, that's his awesome <laughs> gift. This is your awesome gift. There you go. All right, well, it's news time. Yes. As usual, is. Apple is in the news. Surprise. Not. Because they had some announcements. Uh, a new iPad <gasps> Air. They're taking the MacBook Air and the iPad Air and merging them. Ken and I were discussing this. I was like, why is it called an Air? He's like, ah, it's lighter. I mean, yeah. they did actually give it a, uh, uh, an A7 processor. So they, like, jumped from the A5 to the A7. They yeah. said, we don't need no stinking A6. Right. And so they just jumped right ahead. And it's, like, and uh, only one pound. Weighs a pound. Which is nice. And it's other a, than that, a little 20% thinner. It's an iPad. Right. They Are also, you going to buy one? Did you? 
they have a new iPad mini I might buy. Yeah. Because the iPad mini is going to have the same specs as the full-size iPad, but in a little mini package. Why are you taking my tablet? Whose tablet is that? Mine right now, because <laughs> oh, okay. possession is... <laughs> Nine tons of law. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's uh, see what else they do. They also did, like, the Mac Pro. Wait, we didn't finish announced. talking about the mini. It's getting Retina. Oh, yeah. It's getting Retina, and it's getting the A7. Now you can go onto the Mac Pro. <laughs> All right, so the Mac Pro 12-core uh, CPUs uh, is going to be 3000 bucks. Starting at? Starting at, of course. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like a little trash can, so <laughs> have fun. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else did they do? <laughs> uh, if I recall correctly, they also updated uh, iWork and iLife and, and stuff like that. You can yep. get new versions of their presentation and spreadsheet and Word document all of that whole uh, software and all that stuff. You can get new uh, versions of um, what's it called, the video editing software. Uh, Final Cut? Not Final iMovie, Cut. I mean. iMovie, iPhoto, all yeah. that. So, so, you know, this week I actually upgraded to uh, Maverick, um, and uh, funnily for enough... For free, by the way. That's pretty free. cool. That is nice. But and you've been complaining my, ever since. My computer entirely, so I've been struggling a little over that. I've heard uh, some other issues as well. So if you're not the early adopter type, don't upgrade just yet. Give it a little bit of time. All right. Well, speaking of things that won't slow you down, the new Nexus 5 yes, was released. Yes, everyone's super excited about this. And it has Android KitKat, the next version of Android OS. I do love KitKats. Mm. What they've also done is they've you know gone what? in... KitKats in London do not taste the same as they do here in the U.S. No, that was Twix. You didn't eat a KitKat. Oh. You ate a Twix. Darn it. And yes, they don't <laughs> taste the same. But back to the KitKats... Uh, the Google, what they did was they kind of re-architected the core of the uh, OS mm -hmm. so that uh, I think the goal, because they, they made it so that the, the new OS can run on devices that are lower powered, I think the right. goal is there's all these old devices hanging out that are running like Android version 2 and stuff, and they want everybody to upgrade to 4.4. Yes. Uh, so they're, the, you know, trying to kind of news. even the playing field a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. So that'll so, be interesting. So the uh, Nexus 5 has a 4.95 inch screen. So 1080p. So we're going with the big, the big ones. Uh, Snapdragon 800 processor. It'll be 349 or 399. Now here's my big question that I didn't see an answer to. Does it have HDMI output? I did because, not see that. No. You know, we carry all these Samsung yeah. devices, which. We love Samsung, mm -hmm. but uh, the last couple of days, Ken and I were helping the Mobile Nation guys stream their event, and none of the Samsung devices have HDMI output, which makes it really friggin' hard to plug them in and demo yeah, what's going on on does. the screen, because you got to use all these adapters and stuff. So, I have decided unequivocally that we should all have HDMI output on every single portable device. And well, I am unanimous in that. Well, what John P. says goes. So manufacturers, you better start getting your act together. Google Plus uh, made some announcements this week as well. Hey, oh, you know Google. how Cali is google.com forward slash plus Cali Lewis? Now you can be it too, but not with Cali Lewis, with your own name. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They're going to be sending out the vanity URL links to you if you're on Google Plus. And so they'll send it to you with a little suggestion like, we think you should be John 1492. And then you'll be like, no, I want to be John P. So it's really easy to request a different name, um, but uh, you can find all those details at geekbeat.tv. Lee um, Whitfield got his. He's plus Lee Whitfield now. Nice. And uh, Mr. Jiggs. Plus Mr. Jiggs. And Jason Wynn. Plus Wynn. Jason Wynn. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting. You can also, Dave Curley is still waiting. Great. They, they're confused <laughs> Nick, by your last name. Nick says Android 4.5 Limp Biscuit. Oh. That would be awesome <laughs> if it was Limp nice. Biscuit. That's funny. Um, okay. Also, else? a few other things in terms of pictures. Uh, they've made some improvements and updates to uh, Auto, awesome. Auto Awesome. You can like do animated GIFs now. One thing I'm actually I love looking forward to that. Is this the eraser? So oh, yeah. you take this a picture is impressive. in London if it or wherever. Works. You got a bunch of people in your photo, and you can just erase them from your photo like they did not even exist in the first well, place. Well, not quite. What happens is you take it. You take a series of images. 
the people, you keep the people in where you want them to be, everything else that's moving, you would select just, and you'd say, that's the one I want to keep, get everything else out, and it would look through and it would remove yeah. the other extra. So it, you have to use a series of images. Well, but I, I really like the auto GIF thing because yeah. if you have a camera, like a modern camera that takes fast photos, then what you could do is have somebody do something silly mm -hmm. and just hold the trigger down, like snap, 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 then upload it, and bam, it animates those for you, right. which right now is a sucky process. Yeah, you, you love doing animated GIFs. But I love animated GIFs. It just takes a little bit of work. <laughs> anyway, things that don't take work, Twinkies. Callie's favorite. Pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks. That's you right. can now give me my coffee fix. That's okay. right. You just by tweeting. You could tweet. How do they do that anyway? You just, basically, you tweet at tweet a coffee. And include at Callie Lewis. I should not say this. At people Tweet a Coffee? Yeah. That's oh, at Tweet at a Coffee. Tweet a coffee. At Callie Lewis? Yeah. And, and you send a $5 gift card. Bam, you can buy her, a, uh, buy her a coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> at Tweet a Please Coffee. Don't, you don't have to. I at Callie my Lewis. Coffee you should do it. No, don't. Why not? <laughs> There's been better $5 spent elsewhere. Do you appreciate the can, things can, that can. Callie does for you? I can, I can see Callie. There's no better way to prove it than by right. tweeting at Tweet a Coffee <laughs> at Callie Lewis. Here's your pumpkin spice latte before they're all gone. Boy, I could see her like on a Tuesday morning yawning in, in there and, and, and tweeting, boy, I sure could use some coffee. Right, and then bam, everybody tweets her at tweet Kylie Lou, whatever. Yeah, it's a down payment. Okay, Ken has given us the whole wrap it up. It's time for but us to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to have Scott Jordan from Scotty Vest. That would be awesome. So we'll be right back. Welcome back to Geek Beat Live! Whoa, what was that? <laughs> I'm very excited because we have a special guest with us today. Scott from Scott E. Vest oh, is here. Scott actually... In actual, not like on a screen. No. A physical person here you in know, the studio. I, I think that that's one of the things that people were surprised by the most when we started tweeting about it because they thought, oh, you're going to be like on Skype or whatever because we normally we do, do that. that. Um, and they were really excited to have you here in person. Yeah. Well, I so thought welcome. I'd return the favor. You came out to visit me in Sun Valley not so long ago. And Beautiful place, by the way. Oh, thank you. Good to be here. So uh, for those of everybody knows what a Scotty Vest is, but for those people who don't, for the one of you who doesn't, between, let me tell you, let me tell you what it is. I want you to imagine a piece of clothing, perhaps it's a jacket, perhaps it's a shirt. Underwear? Perhaps, yeah. True. Pants. Anyway, you have all these gadgets and you need a place to put them. Well, all, and I mean all of his clothes have super secret hiding spots. So you it could fit like So it doesn't look like you're carrying your gadgets, but you are. In fact, how many gadgets do you have hidden on your person right now? I, at, le at least seven. Seven and cords and batteries and, and, and keys. and. Uh, you and, don't look bulky, though. No, no. That's, that that's the whole point. Of it. It's a weight management system yeah. and designing you know, clothing, taking these things into account. I, I, like you, I like to have all my <laughs> gadgets with me, and I travel around a lot. So, yeah. so this allows me to do that. So with the jackets and things, they're, like, they're even big pockets in the back yeah. so you could stick a whole laptop or, a, or an iPad. Right here. You know, yeah. Some of them. Like, th th this is right not here. quite this uh, is actually a zip pocket. Well, there's yeah. a zipper. Yeah. But yeah, you could stick a whole, you know. In some of them. This, this not one, all of them. Yeah, this I'm one's in, in, intended, you can wrap the entire jacket up into a little pocket. Oh. A little pouch make it's a little like, pillow. Nice. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then there are hidden pockets, too, in some Just of them. Tons oh, look, of your pockets. Okay. So, so there are little icons. And here, this pocket here, I have my iPhone. Nice. And we actually have I a like that. I, Look I at that. I saw you earlier actually using it that way. You just you opened up your jacket and we're using you get a your, call, your You phone. get a call and you just, you know, see who it is. And Siri actually that will work awesome. right through here. Oh, nice. I can dictate messages right through there. And then we have the personal, patented personal area network. Yeah, you're, so the basically, uh, it wired this gets here. wired and fed up through the jacket so that you can just have your earbuds ready to go. And check this out. Power is always a problem. So I've got my battery here, Ugh. and then it's wired 
right through. Oh, nice. And right it's charging. down through into there. Fantastic. And then the earphones are wired as well. So I have my iPad. <laughs> Good God, look at that. He had a whole iPad stuck in yeah. there. Nobody knew. That's a full-size iPad. I've got a charger, battery uh, charger. case charger. This is what pretty the heck cool. is what, this? Is that oh, a remote? You have to review that. It's, it's a Logitech oh, Wi-Fi a projector thing. Nice. It's a, it, it, wi it's Wi-Fi connected to your computer. It will live stream. Oh, it's a oh, it's it's not a projector. It's no, a it's no, a it's a, it's a, it's a uh, webcam. It's webcam. a wireless oh, webcam. Cool. So you wow. can walk around and, and, and nice. So I've got. So we have to do a the, what's in, the, in instead of what's in Scott's bag. Right. It's what's in Scott's jacket, jacket. segment. Exactly. <laughs> Cables, keys, oh keys, keys and oh oh yeah, wait, wait. and a key holder. Yeah, there's a key leash. And you're gonna love this because you don't always want a jacket. Sometimes, oh, sometimes look you look at that. just want a vest. And, you know, and, the, it, and it it's uses, magnetic. The way it, it connects is magnetic. Off, so you don't have to unzip it. Did you hear it? Snap? I did. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Let's do that again. That's awesome. Nice. So you actually wait. You how actually, many how many jackets? I mean, how many pockets are in this one vest? I think this has like twenty two. I'd have to check. I, you know, and does. then you know, and then check this out too because <laughs> nice sunglasses glasses, too. And then because cleaning oh. rag is it attached? Map, yeah. Nice. Oh, oh that's where, cute. Where all the pockets are. Yeah. That's awesome. So you used to put in like little business cards. cards. Everyone, I like that better. It's nicer because it's permanent. Yeah. And, and all the cards, everyone. Cool. Yeah, but it was half the fun of it was fi finding, finding all cards, your cards all the time. <laughs> like there was a card in every pocket. You're like, where the heck? The so right. you actually sent us a, a box yes. of stuff. We haven't Here looked. We, we have no idea what's in the box. We always wait. Feels like Christmas. Yes. We normally do unboxings at the end of the show, but now we're doing it in the middle of the let's show. Let's see what you brought us. So let's see what we got here. All kinds of stuff. So we All have right. that's a, a Lucy Cardigan or Lucille uh, Cardigan. Yeah. That's for you. Okay. Uh, so you need this me to is open actually it? just like a. Um, so you you started not just doing the. Oh, we have a full woman's I mean, line. Yeah, yeah you, no, you have like, which is not something a lot of people realize. Yeah, a full yeah. women's line. And my wife does all the, you know, primarily the designs for the women's stuff. So if we just put that on. Oh, nice! That's like a little light kind it's of like thing little, that you yeah. can wear got, over. Everything's it's got pretty. Extra pockets. It is There's pretty pockets actually. Pockets within pockets and. Yeah, look you know, at that. And my there's little here? teeny pockets that zip in for your lipstick and not oh really where yeah in, inside of oh yeah I see that, see that? nice <laughs> maybe I can't find my lip gloss and here, you know what that your looks like the hoodie, hoodie you wear everywhere oh, yes, it's got your zipper that goes all the way up your over your head <laughs> <laughs> I wear this one every day do you really yeah. she's got the black a, a black, black version. one it, now this may be slightly different though. Uh, uh, no, it's, no, it's just different color. Oh, it's, yeah, just okay. a different color. That's pretty. And, uh, yeah, what I love about this is when I'm in a cold place, like I used it in London when it was raining, really, because <laughs> um, it zips all the way up the hood. I, so I just zipped it like all well, the way up to my nose. <laughs> because it wasn't sure just that, raining, that it was cute. it was wind, and I had a jacket yeah. on, and my hood kept blowing yeah. up, and she's like, "Ha, ah, look <laughs> at mine," like, look and she zipped it way up, <laughs> and hers wasn't. Blowing. And of course, if you'd this like to, a, oh, oh th that's a puffer jacket. If you want to be a, a ski bunny, nice. Isn't that cute? I like the little yellow really accents. Really soft. Yeah. That Feel is it. really nice. Ooh. And inside, it's all yellow too. So oh, wow. I like that it has the. Uh, I like the um, the, the little stretchy. yeah the yeah. stretchy yeah. things on the the the, oh, that is the nice. wrist. A bunch of Q-zips. Oh wait, I have to point out one other thing I love about this other oh, jacket. This Which one you. is this called? This one's for me. That's the Chloe. This and is the Chloe. These little finger loops. Oh, yeah. those I are use the those greatest. all the time. I love those. I our never... women's products are named after our dogs and children. So Chloe <laughs> is, is awesome. one of our dogs. Oops, sorry. So, uh, not the men's. That's a men's puffer, nice. which is a, a men's version of that puffer. And then see, model it, John. Get your sexy on. I'm ready to. I'm bringing sexy back. <laughs> Oh, and this is the transformer. Oh yeah. That I was John, don't you know wait, transformer? wait, look. Uh, I think I, I think I do. I don't remember the name. Look at the inside. Do you see? It's got the pocket oh, right yeah, here. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got the. You could put like your whole iPad you in here. Actually, yeah. And it's protected. It's not going to fall out like. I wouldn't want to sit up against it. Right. You know, but if you want. But you're if you're going, walking around, you're traveling, it's perfect for traveling because with the limits on carry-ons. Yeah. yeah. You can stuff as much stuff in there you have it How's with it you. Feel? Oh, it's that really looks soft. On it's really soft. It feels good. It's a great winter jacket. It looks soft and warm. And it will take me like an hour to figure out where all the pockets are and where <laughs> I'm going to shove all my stuff. <laughs> 
and the transformer awesome. you have, uh, which is what I'm wearing oh, right now. Right, because yeah. no, I do have that one in the black. I have that. Yeah. Well, now, you, now you have. No, that was the, that was the that was the. This is the tropiformer. I'm sorry, the transformer. Oh. This is the a lighter weight it, it, version of it. Oh, okay. So, um, See, there's not so quite many the same. options. There are. Huh. And like I, I teased about earlier, you do actually have some men's underwear. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm not even going to go there. I don't know how you With would. Extra uh, but there's a reason. That every time I wake up in the morning, I'm in my underwear. I, first thing I do is I grab my iPhone. And I start checking the email. And, and I'm walking around making my coffee That's wondering true. where to put okay, it. Okay, okay. So this I is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. That's my favorite. This is right up my alley. It is. I it, love it looks this exactly kind. like John. Yeah, I love this kind of stuff. With the little zipper, pull it up. You, when you get a it's little wickable. bit warm. Yeah, this is fantastic. That is cool. And there are several different versions and a women's version of that oh, as well. Oh, nice. And so cool. a couple of questions from the audience. Okay. One, um, I, and the one I'm getting most often is, are you going to have, like, do you have some pockets meant for phones that are a little bit bigger yes. for Android devices? Absolutely. We Once once those larger phones started coming mm -hmm. out, we've adjusted all of our specs for all the new products yeah. to accommodate those. So Good. They look at them, and uh, in, in fact, a, funny, a brief funny story, when those phones started coming out, the Wall Street Journal called me up mm -hmm. and interviewed me, and I and I was thought I was kind of off the record, and I used a four-letter oh, no. word to describe <laughs> it, like how I felt when I was at CES when they were introduced, and sure enough, they quoted me with the asterisks and all that as to that, so we redesigned our, Media our product. Media will do that. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> But it was colorful. So. Yeah. <laughs> Caught people's attention. Also, another question. Um, big and tall sizes. Um, we go up to triple X large, you know, and we do some talls and some limited products, okay. um, but not all, uh, not across the board. Okay. So. Well, I mean, it's it takes a lot of work to get. And we have these, seven like, different involved. sizes, and yeah. you know, it's just a matter of managing SKUs. Yeah. You guys have just been putting out more and more product as, as the years go by. I've been pretty impressed. We started with the Evest 1.0, and yeah. now we have over 40 different products. That's so. amazing. Have you seen any other questions in the chat room? No, and we're um, Ken was giving us the wrap up on this section a oh, while okay. back, so okay. we're way well, over time. Him. No, we're glad to, <laughs> glad to be. But if you guys want to get some of your own, head on over to Scott Evest. Dot com. Actually, and we have a coupon code. Do we? Geek yes, Beat, Geek Beat. For 25% off of everything for the next week. So nice. wow. your Christmas shopping. Um, it's great value. 25% so. off. Awesome. 25% off. Fantastic. Geek Beat. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for coming and that joining awesome. us. And yeah. uh, if you guys are in Dallas, you can join them for a meetup tonight. So. That's right. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys hang on. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Welcome back, hey guys. guys. So uh, I've got a lot of robots today. Yeah, it's I've your kind favorite time of day. So I'm just going to get straight to it. Go for it. Um, all right. First of all, 3D printed robot. This is cool. Um, all right, so, so in other words, we can't make them fast enough. We might as well 3D print them. Exactly. So they actually are trying to mass produce robots this way using a 3D printer. Um, it's called Poppy. Uh, you have video of Poppy. this, Dave. Um, so it's a little humanoid robot. It stands 33 foot tall, or sorry, inches tall. <laughs> It's a little humanoid it's robot little. that stands 33 <laughs> feet tall and will squash humans in its wake. It weighs 7.7 .7 pounds, and uh, it's only costing $11,000. I know that sounds what? like a lot, but this is the first step in a process. This is the first 3D printed robot, and uh, other you know robots that would be using this process, um, if they were to do it, it would cost like $30,000. What? Yeah. That thing has he said it is. It's better. using real human kid shoes. Oh my gosh. Um, and so they're using just a lot more. Um, Let's get some of, Nikes. Yeah, exactly. They're using uh, better parts so that they can kind of mass produce it. God, that right. thing is scary. Does anybody else look at that and just get creeped out? How do you like, get if that creeped thing, out? That thing, it's only big enough. Like I could punt it, okay? But if it was It'll punt back. six feet tall, that thing would just crush a human. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, um, also a robot that teaches uh, kids to program. This is uh, from a company called PlayEye, and they've created these little two characters, uh, these little two robots called Bo and Yana. Bo has a little bit more um, 
uh, flexibility and um, he can do more. Uh, let's go ahead and show these. This is the, the big one is Bo. The little one is Yana, uh, I think. Yeah. And, um, they look like eyeballs. They do, but basically it kind of is interest, it's meant to get kids involved in learning programming uh, early on from, you know, you saw that kid, it's little. It can sense obstacles. It, it's blinking and stuff or something. Yeah, so the little kid just programmed it to kick a soccer ball, and so it kicked a soccer ball. Um, they can communicate with each other. <laughs> wow. Uh, so Are little can... kids going to actually be programming things well, okay, when they're so like little kids here's, now? Here's the thing, it's not... Like, it's not like C++, you know, they're not like sitting there programming. It's an easier form of yeah, it. Yeah, they don't learn that until they're seven. Right. <laughs> it's kind of like the little bits. It's yeah. kind of like the little bits and some of the other gadgets that we've uh, shown off here on this show. And, and I, I'm just amazed at how much stuff people are making for for kids these yeah. days so that they get them involved in the, the science and engineering. The British banana said, is it me or are they kind of creepy cute? How are they creepy cute? And Tube Maker says, no, just creepy. I know. It's not just me, okay? Seriously, some people look at these robots and they're like, all we can do is imagine them eating our brains. All right, fine. I have two robots for you, John, that I don't think you can complain about. Okay. One, how about something to carry all your stuff around? Just trail behind you. A slave you. bot? A okay. slave bot. Uh, maybe. The, the budgie bot. Budgie bot. Will hold 50 pounds. It's this little robotic thing that um, you can basically, you know, put like a bag into like that. And oh, okay. it'll carry your stuff. So uh, maybe if you go to the grocery store. You Does it follow it. me? It will follow your phone. Yes. It's programmed to stay a safe distance away from your phone. So as long as you have your phone on you. It shouldn't run over my heel. It will run over you. And it will avoid obstacles as well so that it won't, you don't have to worry about it running off into the street and getting hit by a car. Okay. <laughs> Um, it's kind of cute. I got to give it cute, up. Right? Okay. So yep. it's going to be entering. Space through. Bats called it the Stalker Bot. But okay, go ahead. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. I'm okay with that. You can make it do stuff. Yep. Um, carry your load. And uh, also, it'll be $1,400. I know that's expensive, but it'll be going into crowdfunding projects uh, later this month. Okay. And I know how you like to get your drink on. Oh, yeah. I'm such an <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> The Monsoor Bot is on Kickstarter right now. The Monsoor Bot. Yes, it's a robotic bartender. Monsoor. So, Monsoor. Um, so you basically will, it'll allow your, it'll like make your drinks for you. You, you can don't be like, have to know what goes in what drink. Vodka martini, yeah. shaken, not stirred. Exactly, and it'll make you exactly that. You can adjust the ingredients. So if you like your extra little, vodka. Uh, yeah, if you like yours a little heavier. <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of uh, adjust that. Bond. It's Zigbee and Z-Wave compatible. Oh, that makes me happy. So it will actually uh, work with other, you know, things in your house. It'll know if you come home late for work. It'll make you a double because it figures you've had a stressful day. Right. Um, or it can know, like, if your favorite team just won and maybe say, hey, you want some champagne to celebrate your win? So I, I don't know if so sports fans really drink champagne. <laughs> yeah, sure they do. Well, yeah, yeah it, dumps a, it dumps a bottle of Gatorade right. on you and all that. So what you're telling me is it's going to put all the bartenders out of jobs. No, this is for your put home. Put all the bartenders on the street. No, this is for your home. It's like, oh, okay. it's like having Isaac from the love boat at yeah. your house. That's right. <laughs> I don't That's know right. what that is. Like that. That's right. <laughs> but how can you say anything bad about that? I can't, to be honest. I mean, everybody likes to get liquored up. We might as well <laughs> let the robots get us liquored up before they kill us. Okay, it's time for planes, trains, and automobiles. Yay! Starting with planes. Guess what? Yay! I'm so excited about this. The FAA has finally been convinced that your iPad is not going to kill us all. So they're going to let us leave our devices turned on as long as they're in airplane mode. They, from takeoff to landing and everything in between, you don't have to turn them off. You know, Having I remember said that, when the first day I used my Kindle, when it first came out on a plane, yep. and they had no idea what it was, and they brought me cookies because I had a cool new device from first class, and then all of a sudden they just stopped letting you they were use like, any device. You Nazi! I can't believe you're using a Kindle on this plane. Ridiculous. We're gonna throw you out. It's gonna anyway. crash the plane, come yeah. on. Uh, so, it's now up to the airlines to A, 
implement the change. So in other words, allow you to leave your devices on. Great. And B, figure out at what times during the plane, the, the, the flight, they won't actually let you have them on. So for example. You mean like they do now? Well, no, I mean like for example, when they're doing their safety announcements, they might ask you to put your, your devices down. But the funny thing is, when they do the safety announcements now, I may not have my device on, but I'm sitting there reading a magazine. I'm completely ignoring them because I've already heard it. Like, I could do the announcements, okay? I did the announcement. You did do it once. So, anyway, that's the good news. The now, bad news is we have to wait for the airlines to figure out that they are going to do it or not. And most likely, a lot of them aren't going to give it to us like we want it. And on top of that... What? Oh, come on. You're ranting? You'll have to pay $50 per device. Yeah, they're probably going to figure out a Charge way to you. monetize this. Anyway. You know, if I were an airline, I would have just announced it the same day as the FAA and been like, hey, come on to our airline. We're going to allow you to use your devices. Yeah, seriously. Major fail, you airlines who didn't come out today and go, you see, people, we've been fighting for this for you all yeah. time. Starting today, we are ready. Everyone. You bring your devices. You know what sales major, would have done? Major, major fail and shame on all of you who didn't do that, which is all of you. Let's take trains from now on. How's that? Very good. <laughs> what else you got? The trains, really? Yeah. That's right. Okay, what we also have is something called the Dream Chaser. What is that? That's right. This little baby was... Not the Dream Catcher. No, this is a Dream Chaser. Mm. It's a spacecraft from Sierra Nevada, that's the name of the company. Okay. And Wait, it the made- the name of the company is Sierra Nevada? That's right, it made its initial test flight at Edwards Air Force Base in Florida, and this is it. They basically dropped it off an air, dropped it off of a plane, and this is a, an aircraft that's competing for like NASA projects and stuff against SpaceX and Boeing to shuttle astronauts from you know, back and forth from oh, the International Space cool. Station. So what they did was they dropped it from an airplane, and as you can see, it's coming right on in. And it's, there's no it person glides, in there? It glides right. on in. I don't know, there may have been somebody in it. I don't know, they probably had a pilot. Oh, I, I thought it was autopiloted or something. Maybe it is, I don't care. But the point is, it's seat seven, and it's coming in for landing, but look, the one of the wheels did not deploy oh, no. so the landing was fine except for right about here uh -oh. <laughs> so, what happened <laughs> uh, well what happened was the flight went well except for the left rear landing gear or whatever didn't deploy and the thing spun around on the deck and god knows what it cost nice. them but other than that that was just a landing uh, failure. That's not that big of a problem. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, I you, mean know, you know, it's just spinning around on the ground, trying maybe you know causing fires. They'll fix it. Okay, <laughs> they'll fix it. All right. Actually, just a quick note on the uh, airline thing. Dave Peterson just said in the chat room that uh, the airlines still have to get approval for their particular procedures from the FAA uh -huh. before they can announce what they're going to do. So is that supposed to be their excuse? Oh, we didn't have our stuff approved. I guess so. Huh. Okay. Anyway. That next might up. work as an excuse, but it's not going <laughs> to stop me from ranting because then you just let the you let them off the hook. Well, they well, should have had... Anyway. Okay, here, I'll... You know, they knew it was coming. Hang on, That's yeah. The thing. I'll modify my plans. Instead of saying, oh, starting today, you can do it, what they should have done is gone, here, look at our rules. We have submitted this to the FAA for approval already now it's on them we're waiting on them Fair as enough. soon as they say yes we're good but they don't do that yeah i don't know why anyway i swallowed so the fly we <laughs> i think while, i'll die while john sings his little tune uh we're gonna go to commercial break and we're gonna come back and do some unboxings it's christmas time and i look very christmasy um and but we want to know, I know, I was just about to do that. Thank you, Dave. I'm being yelled at by my producer. Uh, go on to geekbeat.tv slash famespot and let us know. What did you dress up for Halloween or as? what would you do if you had all uh, no money uh, restrictions whatsoever? Yeah, then. that you could do too. Just head on over to geekbeat.tv forward slash famespot and tell us. Out. Hey guys, 
welcome back to Geek Beat Live. It's unboxing time. I am John P. That is Callie Lewis. You guys are awesome, and you have a piece of mail to open. Is it, is it my turn to talk? Go ahead. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is actually from Ben. I won't show you the front of that envelope because it has his address on it. But What's show this? the back. Hang on a minute. Look, oh. he actually oh. did a oh wax gosh. stamp on that. That is cool. You almost missed that. Dear Callie, this it is, look at how. Looks like a little crown. At, this is not Ben's handwriting. Ben did not write that. What? Dear Callie, this note was handwritten <gasps> by a robot. Oh, what? Gee, remember that story I had? Oh my gosh. Okay. What does it say? It says this note was handwritten by a robot, which is A, super cool, and B, probably for the f uh, best since you've seen what my handwriting yes. looks like. In closing, is my, con um, is continuing. my continuing please to work with. Pleasure. I think it was supposed <laughs> to be pleasure. The robot so. misspelled it. <laughs> pleasure to work yeah. with yeah. the GPT. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at the <laughs> handwriting from the robot. That is cool. The robot handwriting. You know, you see a, a handwritten note and you 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 feel the uh you thought it was actually handwritten except you knew that ben couldn't write quite that well <laughs> all right that's awesome thanks that ben awesome. thank you okay we have another package here i don't know what it is but out here it says galactic fun time line what galactic wait, wait. didn't green want us to open the know. big one first Oh, well, I uh, guess well, that's out. The big one, I, I think we're going to do it last because it's got stuff on top of it. And this? it's really big. I don't know. Read that. I don't know what it is. There's a lot of paper in here and I'm stuff. I'm not sure if it's true about all things bacon, but I figured you'd be the only, be the one to say with your love of bacon and your insatiable curiosity. Personally, I found the bacon marmalade a bit different. What is this? Nice. Strawberry jam. With bacon. Oh my Who sent God. it? This is from the Canal Car Company. Nice. Different in the Minnesota, that's different since as applied to Miss Larson's. Strawberry <laughs> jam with bacon. And there's something else in here. Yeah, let's look at see. It. This is also a handwritten note, which is awesome. Yes. Who is it from? From the Canal Car Company. Yeah, but I what's can't his quite name? read his name. Can you read that? I can't see it yet. And then there's bacon marmalade. Oh my gosh. Bacon marmalade. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. Is that all? That's that that's uh, that box was uh, no, designed to mean, keep like, them from breaking. Yeah. So that yeah. That's really cool. Very Thank cool. Thank you. Strawberry jam with bacon sounds <laughs> vaguely delicious. I don't know why. Okay. Oh let's wait, see wait, what... wait. Um at there's gntrains.com, is that what that says? Yeah, that's an e email address. Oh, I see, okay. Is that Eric Wild? I can't read it's hard your to signature. Read the okay. He's in the chat room. Maybe he's in the chat we'll room. We'll get him. All right. Okay, we've got this other box here. I did cheat a little bit, I was <gasps> peeking at it. John B. I was peeking because. I actually got an email from these guys saying, hey, do you want to try this out? What is it? It is the Golf X Cube. Oh, you're working it is on a, golf stuff, It is a you? golf training device. Oh. And I read about so it. So I can learn to play golf? That's right. I read about it, and I was like, yeah, everybody, you know, anybody who plays golf could use a little bit of help. Okay. Now, this comes even with a Tiger DVD Woods? to explain what it is. Even Tiger Woods could not use any help. But... <laughs> When I was reading about it online, I was like, I actually can't figure out how this thing works, okay? okay? So I said, send it. So I was peeking because I was trying to figure out if I could look just yeah. from the packaging to figure it out, but I can't. It just says Golf X Cube is a cool and ultimate training aid, etc. And there's awesome. a DVD in there. So it looks like if you look at it in the package here, well, I guess I could open it. Why wouldn't you, I open it? You put it on your glove? I mean, no, it, it a sits. Too big for that. It like sits on the ground. I, all I can tell is, it sits on the ground in front of you or between oh. you and your ball, and 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 somehow and you use teaches it. Teaches you how to, about your swing. Wait, look, that's the DVD. So that's where I'm going to okay. learn what it is. But interesting looking thing. Here it is. That's it's cool. Well, it's, what it looks really well made. Actually. Yeah, it's it's a it's nice. It's solid. 
Um, uh, and it's also very simple. So you could stick this in a golf bag, mm. but I need to figure out how to use it. Okay. And then I will let you guys know if it improves the, if it improves my game. It's a golf gadget. And just so you guys golf know, you're asking in the chat room. He does play golf. Not not often these I days. I can play golf. But you uh, being in the business world, that's I how used you to, wooed clients. I used right? to play golf fairly. Like I used to play golf every single weekend. So wow. I played a lot. I I'm not fantastic, but I'm also not like embarrassingly bad. If so I go out, I'll be in the job. middle. I'll be in the middle of everybody. I've got a handicap. Well, it's been a while. Sure Probably in the 17 to 20 range, so. I'm just glad I knew a term. I shoot, when I shoot, when I play, I shoot under 100. Or, you know, I, it's been a little while, but when I'm, when I'm playing well, I might shoot like in the 90 to 95 range. Man, I shoot a 500. I don't know what you're thinking you could play a good game of golf. You probably. I you, probably do. You probably do shoot a 500. <laughs> Just By the way, lower I scores. I know, I know, that's why I said it. <laughs> okay, green. Guess what? It's our big box Yay, time. The big box. Here? Wow. Guess what? This came from TrendNet. Cool. So you want to take the take the first one? We have a Huey access point here. So this is, is it a wireless mesh network, just like we were doing on the other stuff? Well, it's not necessarily it's not a mesh, mesh network. It's not mesh. Okay. But it's a wireless access point with one very special feature oh, I see that, right here. that you left point. out. Oh. The very beginning of that. 300 megabits per Nope. Sec. I said wireless. that. P-O-E. I said that. Did you? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, it's power over ethernet. So what does that mean, folks? That means you could use something like the second item in our, in our list. This is a 16 port gigabit power over ethernet switch. Now, what does that mean? That means <laughs> when you plug in yes, this bad teacher. boy to set up an access point, a wireless access point, let's say in another room, another part of the building, whatever, you can put it anywhere and all you have to do is run one ethernet cable from one of these ports over right to this thing and that delivers both power and internet. Nice. So that's cool because let's say if you want yep. to put this like on the ceiling in the middle of a right. room where you wouldn't normally have a, a, a power outlet, who cares? You don't need power. You just need ethernet cable. Cool. So we're going to give those a try. Nice. Um, TrendNet's a big name. They are. Uh, actually, we are, I'm using trend, a TrendNet uh, uh, switch oh, similar to this oh, yeah, in yeah. my house. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's what the backbone of my house mm -hmm. is. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna give this bad boy a try, and I'm also looking forward to later trying out some of their other power over Ethernet stuff, like power over Ethernet cameras. Nice. Which you can do the same thing. Where do you want a camera? You don't need power. You just need an Ethernet cable. Cool. So TrendNet, good stuff. All right. That's it for today's boxings, unboxings. That's it? Mm -hmm. No more? That's it. Uh, All you right. want a toffee? This is leftover from last oh, week. Yeah, you toffee. want some toffee? It's no, good stuff. Thank you. You guys will see you next week. Uh, and be sure to, in the meantime, follow John on Google Plus at google.com slash plus John P or on twitter.com slash John Pose. Google.com forward slash plus Callie Lewis and twitter.com forward slash Callie Lewis. And you guys don't forget to get keep, your own. Yeah, keep uh, keep your eye out for your Google Pluses because you're going to be able to choose your own little vanity thing. Yeah. And send it to us. When yeah, you get yours, you shoot it over to us. We can't wait to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for joining us each and every week. Again, like we said, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys. He's already up yeah. Oh, yeah. Pablo and his girlfriend. When the intern doesn't show up, he sends his mom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Work. <laughs> <laughs>